Hey peeps, welcome to my July fabric haul and sewing plans video. I have loads to share with you today. As ever, I am probably biting off way more than I can chew, so let's jump straight into it. Um, first off with the selfish sewing, as I said I'm going to break these videos down into, into groups. Selfish sewing first, uh, I have a pile of fabrics next to me for selfish sewing um, that's just as big as ever, so let's dive straight in. Um, I've been making lots and lots and lots of dresses, and there are a few dresses in here, but I would like to try and do some separates. So first up, we've got uh, this, what they call rayon, I'm sure it's very, very drapey fabric, whatever it is. It's very narrow and it's um, from Indian Royal Treasures and it's the same fabric that I used for my um, abstract jumpsuit which I absolutely love and I live in it. So I've decided that I'm going to try and make a pair of trousers from this fabric. Um, I fancied separates rather than another jumpsuit just so that I had some more options but the, the trouser part of those jump, that jumpsuit is just awesome. I love it. I love it so much. So if I have enough fabric left over, I'm going to do the Hunter Tank, um, which needs to be cut on the bias, so I'm not sure that I will, but I will try and get a top and some trousers out of this fabric, and I love this. I cannot wait to use it. So there's that one. And then also, I picked up this uh, striped chambray, and this was from Minerva Crafts, and I'm going to make myself a gabriola skirt by sewaholic i have traced this pattern off for myself i've altered it I've not made a muslin yet um but i'm thinking i can do that fit, fit on the fly so uh yeah that's going to be this uh very small pinstripe chambray and a gabriola i think that's going to look really cool together um so yeah that's that's it for the selfish sewing um but it's not technically true because there's the tried and trues and I am going to do, hopefully, I've got three fabrics sitting next to me. So, again, biting off way more than I can chew, but we shall see. Um, you'll remember this fabric from my very, very first fabric haul video. It's the oh, bulrushes. And I've folded this in such a way that's really annoying. It's the bulrush fabric with the little dragonflies at the top. Uh, I love this. So I think it's going to be a grey bodice and a gathered skirt with the width of fabric that's left on the border print. Um, so it won't be as full as I like but it will still look very pretty and that's an easy dress for me to do. It's quick. So yeah there's that one. And then I've also got these two out which I've had in my stash for ages and I completely love. Um, this first one is a Robert Kaufman and it's called Nature Studies and it's got lots and lots of butterflies on it. There we go. So green with lots of really pretty butterflies on it and blue, blue, pink and yellowy flowers. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with this one. I think, I think I've got 2.8 meters three yards because that seems to be like a, a standard length that I was buying um, so I, I'm not sure what's gonna I'm gonna do with this one we shall see uh, I have got the McCall's 6696 pattern out um, as I would like to make that again and perfect the fit on the back but I'm not sure if there's going to be enough of this one but whatever I make with this one it will be something appropriate for summer because it's just so pretty and then the last one I've got here is uh, Michael Miller and it's called at the conservatory and again I've had this in my stash for ages I got it from fabric.com I think and again it's kind of like a minty green background lots of flowers lots of butterflies yeah, and I think I have uh, 2.8 meters, three yards of this. So not sure what I'm going to make out of that one. But oh, it's got little birds on it as well. I didn't even notice those. <laughs> not sure what I'm going to make out of that one. 
but whatever I do it's going to be really pretty. I did right so yeah I, I'm not going to show you any UFOs because I think I've given myself more than enough to do. I, I am sitting here looking at an entire bag of mending a customer's bought in for me, uh, mending and alterations. So uh, that's going to be my UFOs for the month I think. Uh, there's about 10 hours worth in there so yay. Um, and then also I'm going to try and get some of the bags that I cut out last month. I'm going to try and get some of those uh, sewn up and finished and in the shop on display ready for sale. So yeah, there's um, lots and lots to do this month. We're already on the, God, what day is it? The 11th? The 12th? Um, how the hell has that happened? Um, so yeah, uh, fingers crossed that I can get all that done. We shall see. Um, hopefully I will be back at the end of July with a, a lookbook for you, not the beginning of August, that's what I'm aiming for. Fingers crossed, touch wood for uh, no more broken sewing machines. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I shall see you again very soon. Bye! Oh, I'm still recording. plan for this month. Spider-Breath. Nice. Oh no no. Why the, can you tell my fabric bars on the floor? <laughs> oh my god what a knob. <laughs>